The protest continues at the Veterans Ministry. Veterans have been encamped in front of the building for a week now. One man was taken to hospital in an ambulance this morning due to exhaustion. The cool fall weather has not deterred the group, who are insisting that Minister Predrag Matic and his deputies step down, claiming their rights are being eroded. Former Prime Minister Ivo Sanader was rushed to hospital Saturday afternoon. He is suffering from heart problems. Sanader has been incarcerated since 2010. He's serving an eight-and-a-half-year prison sentence for war profiteering and on trial for corruption in another case. A spokesperson for the hospital said today Sanader had undergone treatment, was stable and would be released soon. Police and security guards are protecting the Zagreb home of powerful football figure Zdravko Mamic after about a hundred Dinamo fans gathered in front of the controversial club official's residence last night. The Bad Blue Boys, the team's official fan club, believes Mamic is behind Saturday's shooting of two of their members and released a statement claiming he gave the order for the attack. The Dinamo Football Club has issued its own statement categorically denying any involvement in the shooting. The deadline for the petition drive to hold a referendum on the plan to lease Croatia's highways expired at midnight. Activists and unions who are hoping to halt the government's plan will now begin counting the signatures they have collected over the past two weeks. They need more than 450,000 signatures to petition for a referendum. The initiative's coordinator, Mijat Stanic, said he hoped authorities would process the petition quickly so that the vote could coincide with the presidential election. Sisak Moslavina County is voting today to elect a county prefect. With no candidate winning an outright majority in the first round, voters will decide today whether Ivo Zinic of the HDZ or Social Democrat Davor Kovidovic will succeed Marina Lovric Merzel, who resigned as prefect in August. She is under investigation for corruption. The mayor of Zagreb may be behind bars pending the outcome of a corruption investigation, but he still enjoys the support of a number of dedicated followers. Several dozen of them marched this morning as a show of support for Milan Bandic. The march was organized via social media. A supporters group on Facebook has garnered 47,000 likes since the mayor was arrested along with 16 others last Sunday in a major corruption sweep. In sports, Croatia's Borna Cioric lost to David Goffin of Belgium in the semifinals of the Swiss Indoors on Saturday, 6-4-3-6-6-3. The 17-year-old caused a sensation on Friday when he beat former world number one Rafael Nadal. Despite not having advanced to the final, Cioric has broken into the ATP's top 100 and is now the youngest among the elite group. In the final, Goffin faces Roger Federer of Switzerland, who defeated Croatia's Ivo Karlovic 7-6-3-6-6-3 on Saturday in the other semi-final match. In domestic first league football, Istra beat Slaven Belupo 1-0 at home. Hajduk and Lokomotiva played to a 2 all draw. This afternoon's forecast calls for sunny skies on the coast. In the interior, some areas may see partly cloudy skies, but elsewhere it will remain cloudy. Fog and drizzle are expected in the mountains. Light northeasterly breezes. On the coast, a moderate to high northeasterly, especially along the foothills of Mount Velebit, where there may be gale force gusts. Afternoon highs will range from 7 to 12 degrees Celsius inland and on the coast from 15 in the north to 20 degrees in the south. Looking ahead in the week, expect a mix of sunshine and low-lying clouds but also lingering fog in the interior. The mornings will be cooler and accompanied by frost, especially from Tuesday on. The mercury may dip below zero in places. Mostly sunny on the coast with a moderate northeasterly blowing on and off. Winds will remain high on Monday in the north before falling. Expect brisk mornings and temperatures within today's range.